Hello everybody. Um, so we're gonna go over a tutorial on how to um, use RetroBat with Yuzu. I will provide links in the description with the RetroBat where to download that along with the Yuzu client. Um, to get started, obviously you wanna download RetroBat. Um, after you go through that, then you also wanna download Yuzu. Uh, very important, download Yuzu if you don't already have the Visual C++. Um, it, there's a link right here to actually download that and to make sure that's working. Um, after you've done all that, make sure to at least launch RetroBat once and then exit out the client just to make sure all files are there, what have you. Uh, once you exit the client um, on your desktop, after you, obviously you should have a shortcut, two shortcuts here for Yuzu and RetroBat. If you have forgotten where your placement is for the main uh, root file for RetroBat or Yuzu, you can right click, click on properties, and then where it says start in, you can actually copy that and then paste it in to the uh, address bar up at the top right here, and it'll put you here. So here in RetroBat, you have collection music and all that. Uh, we're not gonna mess with that today, but you can do all kinds of things. If you click on RetroBat, it'll bring you back to the main root of the file of RetroBat, which is where we wanna be. Um, if you go into emulators, scroll down, find Yuzu, and what you wanna do here is you wanna go into the main folder where Yuzu is, where your app data local is, and the Yuzu, Yuzu folder. You wanna click on this folder, which is the first one, the Yuzu Windows, and you wanna take all these files and you wanna cut them into this user folder. <clears throat> Once you've done that, click on User in the RetroBack uh, files, and then go back to your Yuzu folder for your app data. You're gonna click on app data, go to roaming, Yuzu, and you're going to take all these files and you're going to cut them into the actual user folder under RetroBat and Yuzu. And yes, we wanna replace. Um, let's get the log. All right. So you'll see you have keys here. You wanna click on the keys. Make sure you put your product and title keys here. Otherwise, you're gonna have some issues not running the Yuzu. Um, after you've done that, we're gonna go and actually launch Yuzu, uh, the standalone by itself. And the reason why we wanna do that is because we wanna make sure that we actually select the, fo uh, the folder of where this client is going to be pulling from. So if you double click here, and once again, um, you can click up here where it says RetroBat. And that's going to bring you back to the main deal. You want to click on ROMs because this is where all your ROM folders are going to be. Search for Switch. Just click on that and then select Folder, and that's where it's going to pull. Now, I already have a game in there to be tested that's been dumped from the Switch. Um, if you want to go look for these files, you know, they're freely on the internet. I can't necessarily tell you where to go find that. Um, but <clears throat> to go over where to actually dump, uh, or not dump, but rather put your um, ROMs in, if you go back to RetroBat, click on ROMs. Once again, you're just going to go look at your, find the Switch folder and you just put your ROMs in there. Um, now, important thing, some of these games do require you to uh, put the updates in for these games. Mario Kart does have one. You just click on File, Install, and mine is actually located in my Downloads, and click Open, and Install. That's gonna install it. After this is done installing, we're actually gonna go into RetroBat and show you how it uh, loads up. Um, 
where this game is going to be placed and all that fun stuff. So that's done. You can actually close the Yuzu client, minimize everything. Um, and then launch the RetroVet. Now, do make sure that you have a controller plugged in. kind of loud uh sorry if that's loud on the video <laughs> <coughs> um go ahead and hit back <coughs> all right so we have our switch here um you can do a lot of things with this thing like i mentioned you can um go to system settings uh update some downloads i do have themes uh all kinds of stuff but we're not going to go through that today but there's a lot of cool things you can do with the simulator if you don't know already. Um, so if you're going to switch the games here, but you see that there's no title for it as far as um, demoing the, the cover or anything like that, you can actually just go into Scrapper. Um, if you want to use Scrapper, you can use other ones. Um, I'll also put that in the description below. That way you guys can go and register for that. Um, go to scrapper settings and just put all that in. Once you do all that, it'll actually um, display the game, the cover of the game and all that after you hit scrap now and it'll pull all that information. So once you get all that done, it'll show up. You can actually launch the game and it should just play. this is the Mario Kart 8. Uh, there is workarounds. There is workarounds for that. Uh, I'm not going to go over that today because today's tutorial is about setting up Yuzu, getting your games to work. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, just give it a like. If not, I mean, it's cool. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> um, hope this helps.